Hello again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the sweep tool in Fusion 360. Relatively simple tool to use, but there are some things that you should know. Um, in order to create a sweep, we need two things. We need a profile and we need a path for that profile to follow. So uh, this sketch right here shows my profile. And this is going to be a handrail. And I want that handrail to be able to follow sort of a, you know, a, a curved or bent geometry. Um, so just doing this as an extrusion doesn't really work so great. Think about a sweep as an extrusion that can go in whatever direction you define instead of just simply going in a straight line. Uh, so if I have this funky profile shape here for my handrail, um, this is definitely the easier way to draw this. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean once the sweep is created. So I'll finish that sketch. And in a different sketch, I need to define the path that this profile is going to follow. So then an important thing to remember with sweep is that your path and your profile are not going to be drawn in the same sketch, probably not going to be drawn on the same work plane. They need to be drawn on planes that are perpendicular. So I'm going to choose the origin plane here that is vertical uh, because that's running perpendicular to my original sketch. So this sort of kinked line here is the path that I want my profile to follow. And I, I did my best here to make sure that my two sketches intersect. Sometimes a uh, sweep won't work if you have your path on uh, a work plane that's not, not close enough to your profile. So with these intersecting here, I'm ready to go. Under the Create panel, if I come down here a little bit, there's my sweep tool. And if I hover over it, it shows me a little bit about what that tool does. I select sweep, and right away it wants me to select my profile. I only have one profile so far, so it's selected this for me. Uh, automatically, and then uh, I got to choose my path. So I click select, and then I grab my path here, my little kinked line. So this is showing me a nice preview of what my handrail is going to look like if I follow that path. And it seems to be how I want it for now. Uh, you notice it's making this sort of bend here in the uh, in 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 this kinked section. That's because I have the my orientation right now set to perpendicular to where my path is always perpendicular to my profile. I could change this to parallel, in which case my cross sections are always going to be parallel to each other. So that original shape that I made for my profile is going to look absolutely identical if I were to take a slice of this handrail anywhere from the top to the bottom. With this perpendicular, uh, I would have to slice it at an angle to get the same profile that I started with. But this is how I want my handrail to look, so I'm going to keep it on perpendicular. Some other things worth noting about the sweep tool. Just like our other 3D modeling tools, it can be used to either join material, or it can cut material, or you can, you can create an intersection between two bodies. Uh, I'm going to create a new component with this. Like using extrude, we can enter a taper angle. So, so I just entered a taper angle of 0.5, so it's going to increase in size as it as that profile makes its way to the bottom of the sweep. You can see here how it's how it's quite a bit bigger than it was where it started. Um, I don't want that for this design. I also have the option to enter a twist angle. Now this is not going to like a twist angle because of the shape of my path. If I try and enter a twist angle of uh, say 180 degrees. Uh, I get a little error message that my, my path is not tangent continuous. So in order to fix that, I would have to come back into my sketch, and I would have to basically round over my edges and make, you know, get, get rid of these little corners, these kinks that I have in my handrail. So with that, now if I perform my sweep, select my profile, select my path, now I get this uh, curved connection between the straights and the angled uh, edges. Now if I try a twist angle of 180 degrees, my profile performs that twist as it goes down the path, which is kind of interesting. 
Not what I want for a handrail, but you can probably imagine situations where a twist could come in handy. So I'll set that back to zero. I'll select OK and change my style so that I'm not seeing those edges. There we go. And I've got a nice looking swept handrail.